Hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and flip for a profit. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So these bolos come from my bolo buddies Facebook group. At the top of the page, I post a post that says, share your best bolo of the month. And that is under the announcements featured section and it is pinned at the top. So come on over, share your bolo, shout out your social media, um, your selling platforms with your post. And I will mention it in a video like this. We are almost at 110,000 members in the Facebook group. It is free to join so much reseller information there. Come on over. Um, it's under my link tree down in the description and you can join that. Just request to join and we'll get you in there, okay? Let's start with this first one. And I don't do a lot of clothing anymore, so I'm not up on the high dollar brands. This is one I've never heard of, Arcterex. I'm probably saying that wrong. It's A-R-C-T-E-R-Y-X. It is a pullover fleece, kind of, kind of unexpected. This one comes from a thrifted spirit on eBay. She said, I had a doctor's appointment on a Monday, passed a garage sale sign on the way that specifically said open Monday. You gotta love those sales. So, of course, I stopped when I left the docks. Fourth day of the sale, picked up each piece at 50 cents to a dollar. Sold this one for um, in about 48 hours for $112.45. Mercari, eBay, and District as a thrifted spirit. That is crazy. A quick sale for over 100 bucks on that shirt right there. Looks really simple, right? Never would have guessed. Thermo Eberline. Oh, radiation ball detector? Say what? Uh, yeah, this is definitely a bolo for sure. Got this at a local online auction for 206, including the fee. Sold it for the full price of $1,699.99 and the buyer, buyer paid shipping. This item is a neutron radiation detector to detect nuclear radiation. I put on the description, it is untested. Guys, it's untested and sold for $1,700. <laughs> what on earth is it? What is it? What does it do? Does it work? Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, if anybody knows anything, put it down in the comments. This is definitely unexpected. Wow. Sunset Hill Stoneware Utica Coffee Mom Mug Cup Tattoo Style. Found this a few, or I'm sorry, found a few of these Sunset Hill Utica coffee mugs at the Goodwill for $1.36 each. They were all limited edition and thought they were cool. So I figured they were worth a try. The other two are still listed different styles. They've gotten a lot of views and a few watchers, but no bites yet. This one, however, sold for my full asking price of $120 within a few days of being listed. I'm a needle in a haystack treasures on eBay. Wow. Would you have walked past it or picked it up? Playmates 1994 Michelangelo Monsters Invisible Man. Look at that outfit. Look at that. Does he glow? Whoa. Uh, let's see. Got this in a grab bag at a Goodwill for $4.74. Picked up the bag as I um, always searched through them and saw the TMNT figure. Google lends them as I could rarely remember which versions are valuable and was surprised by the comps. Sold in one day for $155. Looks like best offer on that. All right, let's look at the next one. Uh, genuine something, Bernina 3 Soul. I don't know what this is. Let's see if they tell us. Mama Market NWA on eBay, Instagram, Facebook, and District paid $750 for this a couple weeks ago from an estate sale online auction. It sold within a week for a best offer of $119. I had it listed for $140. It was brand new, open box. Also purchased a lot of similar items at that sale. So guys, I love it and appreciate you guys sharing your screenshots. But if you can give me a link, that is really, really helpful because I don't know what this is. Maybe somebody watching will. But if you include a link, I can open it up and see the entire title. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind when you're sharing. The next one is this Quaker Lace American Festival tablecloth. Got this at an estate sale for a dollar and sold it for $116.96. This one comes from Childhood Finds on um, eBay and she is also on YouTube. Definitely check her out. 
So when you guys also share a link, it's easier for me to show the pictures. So it's more educational with a link. So always appreciate it. But if you can't figure it out, a screenshot is completely fine. I will make it work. The next one is this Middle East cookbook, um, Sateen, Middle East cookbook. Let's look at some photos here. I just, in another video I did recently, somebody else shared about the cookbooks with the binding on the side. And I have some of these. I need to get them listed. But she said, I got this at an estate sale for a dollar. I love picking up spiral bound cookbooks. And this one sold during my sale for $67.45. All right, Bolo buddies. I am going to throw in a This Is My Bolo from Nina's Jewel. She's going to share with you a bolo she found. If you guys want to send me a 30 second to a minute clip of a bolo you found with details, go ahead and send that to me on Facebook Messenger or Instagram Messenger under Bolo Buddies, and I will add it into a video like this. It's a great way to get your face out there if you're a YouTuber or you sell on the platforms, just to give people a little bit of your personality, and hopefully they will come and follow you. So send me that a bolo. This is my bolo video, and I will feature it. All right, you guys, let's check it out. Hi, I'm Wendy with Nina's Jewels, and this is my bolo. We found these 1897 copies of Through the Looking Glass and Alice's Adventures in Wonderland for $10 at a garage sale. Someone knows about it. Look at all these. Oh, those are cool. Yeah. These were published by the Henry Altimus Company, and these books were in pretty rough shape, but they still sold pretty quickly for $110 plus shipping on eBay. You definitely want to be on the lookout for vintage and antique Alice in Wonderland books. There's a huge collector market for any Alice in Wonderland themed items. That is a rabbit hole you definitely want to go down. I hope you enjoyed learning about my bolo. You can find us on YouTube at Nina's Jewels and on eBay at Nina's Jewels also. Thank you so much, Courtney, for sharing my bolo and for sharing everybody's bolos on your channel. We really appreciate you and we will catch you guys on the flip side. All right, so funny thing about what she just said, Alice in Wonderland is collectible. I was digging through my jewelry pile during a whatnot show and I pulled out a little necklace and it was a modern item and it had a little saying on it and everybody's like oh that's alice in wonderland and i'm like okay and people were bidding that item up it was modern it was cute and they wanted it and it was alice in wonderland so just so you know it doesn't have to be the vintage check the items that are modern also alice in wonderland seems to be trending right now and again come over to my whatnot bolo buddies and my referral links down below to get $15 to shop vintage eagle shield double dial mailbox bank combo lock u.s post office box hi courtney i love your videos and find them so helpful for my reselling business thank you for taking the time to do them and for your facebook group i purchased this post office box converted into a bank at a garage sale for a dollar I have never seen one and thought it was interesting and had no idea what they sold for. And when I checked the comps, I was surprised to see it selling for 50. I posted it for $49.95 and it sold within a month. What a blessing. My eBay store is Sweet Lola Bees. Oh, thank you so much. Um, Let's see. I don't know if I, did I do this one? Nope, I didn't. So let me uh, read this one. Sometimes when you uh, attach to another comment, I don't always get it. Here's another one. I bought a lot of 25 new in the box Furbies at a garage sale. Paid 60 for the lot. I bought them less than a month ago and have seven. I have sold seven for 474 and still have several to estimated sell for over a thousand. I also shared photos of all the Furbies that are awaiting a new home. I did keep three that were opened or out of the box for her granddaughter for Christmas. So it's a win win. Yeah. So Furbies, guys, if you can find the old vintage Furbies, they can definitely be a bolo. Um, I know Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. I think she did a video on that as well. Check that out. Steinway Grand Piano Caster Set Three Brass Vintage Wheels. Bought these for our piano on eBay two years ago, but they didn't fit and I forgot to return them. Paid 25. Fast forward two years and I found them in the bottom of a box in the money pile. Use Google Lens to help identify them as Steinway brand. Glad I didn't remember to return them because they sold for 300 in less than two months. Woo, that's awesome. All right, let's look at the next one. Vintage Caesar 1976 face mask, Father Time Zeus Old Man Wizard. Picked this up last Thursday for a dollar at a small thrift store. Already sold full price 
international sale. I had to carefully finger comb the hair, but it was worth the effort. My store is Rockin' Robin's Groovy Nest on eBay. Looks like it sold for $179.99. Nintendo Wii console, and it looks like a whole set here. Here's another one that you did not ask for, but is definitely it definitely was a great buy. I bought this lot of Wii game console and accessories at a garage sale for 20. That was a great deal. I can't believe they sold all that for 20. We sat on it for over a month before checking it out. Considering we are both retired and know little about operating video games, it was a challenge, but well worth it. We found a sold comp in less pieces than ours for $2.99. So we decided to list it for $349.95 and offer free shipping as an incentive. It sold the same day. Shipping UPS was $37. Maybe we did not ask enough, but we're thrilled with the profit. Yeah, there you go. Sell it in a bundle or part it out. Up to you. Sonic Shadow Clip Bling Bag Series 1 Sonic the Hedgehog Monogram 3D Key. This is a keychain, guys. A keychain. Just saying. Purchased a lot of blind bag items from an online auction. This keychain was one of them in the lot. I put it on auction after researching sold comps. It paid for the whole lot. And now everything else is profit. My eBay store is thrifting addiction and also on Instagram. Yep. Not huge money, but guys, $26 for a keychain. I'd take that all day long. Vintage Amway Rubbermaid Clear Food Storage Kitchen. So she said, my mom and dad were in Amway in the 90s. Mom was going to either have a yard sale or donate these. So I snagged them from her pile for zero. They've been listed for probably a year with a couple watchers here and there. I would send offers, but no one took them. The person paid my full price of $65.99. My eBay name is rgoods21. So here's another one of listed high and wait on the right buyer. If you're patient, this works. If you're not, you're not going to want to sell things like this because she waited a year. Me, I don't care how long it takes. I, I mean, of course, I like a fast sale, but I just throw it in a tote and forget about it. And the more items you list, the easier it is to list it and forget it. On September 14th, after going to a garage sale all morning, I came home and was browsing Facebook Marketplace. I found the Linux Village Spice set that I had been looking for. They had it posted for $500. The seller was not open to negotiations, so I prayed her asking price, $500. I had to drive 35 minutes to her city. It was an elderly couple in their 70s. They, the set was pristine condition with no chips or cracks. I sold the set 15 days later on Facebook Marketplace. Someone came here all the way from Kentucky, which is about two and a half hours away. They paid asking price of $1,000 as my post was clear that I wasn't negotiable. All parties walked away super happy on both transactions. All right, guys, what do you think about that? Would you have paid 500 to make a thousand? It's all in the boxes. That is an incredible sale. Definitely, definitely a bolo. Again, come over to the Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Would love to see you over there. Share a bolo. Get some shout outs for your social media, different platforms you sell on. Um, check out my description of the video for referrals and affiliates that I use for my business. I do receive a commission for those, but those are things I actually use guys. And I think you will find them helpful. I also have videos that show you how I use a lot of the things and I'm over on whatnot. So come hang out Bolo Buddies over there. And I hope to see you at, uh, one of the shows. Also, there might be one starting like at 918 tonight. <laughs> I usually do five to six shows a week, guys. So you'll catch me. Um, just come out, hang out, drink coffee, laugh, have fun. It's a late night show. I usually dig through jewelry. So even if you're not in the market to buy anything, it's very social and a lot of fun. Uh, what else did I want to tell you? My hat seems so vintage made this hat. I got my clip on earrings that I added to the hat from Cat Feel and Thrifty. They're both on whatnot. Um, you guys, if you sell on whatnot down below, Say, I sell on whatnot and put your whatnot name. Maybe somebody will want to come follow you. All right. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Come share a bolo in the Facebook group. I want to see what you sold for big money. Thanks for watching.